All right, guys, we have some late night casting. And yes, it would be wise to turn the chat off because there are a lot of people watching these games. Nobody wants to play except for me and Viper and Whoop, apparently, when it's this late. So in the blue, you know what? I like Viper in the blue. I prefer him in the blue. So we're going to change Viper to the blue. And yeah, I mean, they're blue and red anyway. So we have Viper in the blue and Whoop in the red. And we have a 1v1 ranked match going on. Pretty late for Viper right now, but you know what? He's ready to give us a game. He's playing as the Japanese. Nice. I really like the Japanese. And then we have Whoop, who is playing as the Persians. Have to hand Viper the Civ advantage in this one. Japanese, a very versatile civilization. We're getting caught up, by the way, with Spectale. Not only a versatile civilization, but I think a Civ that top players prefer. Just because Persians kind of one-sided your Japanese in the early game so strong because they have the cheap lumber camp and mill so they can do the early draws they can do the man at arms they can do the archers everything just so much easier because it's all down to the economy at the end of the day and when you have the extra resources it's just so much better for them um option one should be viper option two should be whoop you do exclamation mark betting then a space then help it should give you the betting options, and that is the same for every game, by the way, for the future. But let's take a look at the maps real quick. We have Viper here in the blue. Like I said, he has the Lumber Camp right above his TC. It's pretty good. There are some hills here, so later in the game, that could be a worry. But this is a real issue for him. Look how far forward his main gold is. He also has another gold there as well. And there's a large hill there as well. So it's going to be pretty cool to see how Viper reacts to this and what he chooses to do. With two stones on the back, he might choose to go... I don't know, possibly man-at-arms into Trush because, well, Whoop is that type of player, so maybe he would choose to throw some of Whoop's medicine at him. Uh, you just you just never know. But he is luring in some deer right now, which is going to be even more helpful for his economy. So over at Whoop's base, he has a couple back wood lines too, and he also has this wood line he can take. So if Viper does choose to Trush... You better scout out because this is probably not the best map to trush considering there's multiple wood lines for whoop to take there's a main goal over here for whoop whoop could wall this off quite easily just a wall a wall here and a wall here would wall off that side secure that main gold and the deer and then down here you might be preparing a wall as well because that would be good as well it would actually hold in these gold so though it would be a risky wall this early he might go for it. and I'm not sure what whoop is doing with this villager I mean he's sending the villager forward uh the the scouts going forward he hasn't really scouted anything yet this is odd because it's obviously intentional he's finding the stone I, I have not seen anything like this before uh, he's getting loom now I, I don't understand this move from whoop but I'm interested. Oh, Viper's gonna scout this. Viper's running. Yes, Viper spotted it. Oh man, Whoop, what are you doing? And now Viper instantly deletes his barracks. I'm not sure. He knows he needs to react to this. He's probably expecting more villagers. Maybe this is a fake from Whoop. Obviously, a messy board lore there. Keep in mind that Whoop is Persians. So Viper might be expecting a yes he is look at this he is expecting a Persian douche because he is building houses everywhere and that's the correct response to it you build a ton of houses and they drop a TC well first of all this blocks the TC this is hilarious this is actually and maybe intentional from whoop this is this is exciting because if you build the houses there they can't drop the TC there and then Let's say they do drop the TC there. The TC is going to task the houses first. So that's probably what Whoop was planning on. Maybe my guess. The douche is obviously not going to happen. But Viper, he's wasted a lot of wood on houses because of that in response. Just seeing that one villager. And that's that's pretty funny. I have That's the first time I've seen something like that in a top level match. And now Whoop is going to drush. Viper, of course, deleted his barracks. So he is unable to drush. This is this is exciting. Now Viper also does not have his scout back at home. He's he's scouting and oh my gosh, look at this! Whoop's going forward. Are you kidding me? What is happening in this game? Now I think Whoop is play oh, this is bad. You know what? Whoop I think is planning on douching now with the drush. 
and he's gonna find the houses and <laughs> you might need to send these villagers back Viper's gonna find it this is hilarious this is hilarious there's the drush Viper's like what what is going on he's on the way up to the feudal age now the villagers are running forward so we are gonna see a Persian douche but it's like a chess match and now it's like a blind chess match it's like you don't know what's going on with the other player's hand this is like a poker game the better way to say it Whoops! actually killing Viper's villagers. He's killed one. He's gonna kill two. But is he still gonna go for the TC? I guess he has to commit to it. <laughs> He's gonna commit to it. He's gonna put it down there. Now that's gonna be in range of the berries and the wood. So that's really good. Viper's gonna be up to the feudal age though. And this is the first time I've ever witnessed a top player dealing with the Persian douche. First time I've seen Viper dealing with it. And you guys are in for a treat this is this is awesome now let's see viper's response he instantly looks for wood now he has not scouted this area and he's he doesn't have much wood in fact woo 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 woo, woo get rigged viper <laughs> gonna lose a villager all right buddy he's gonna find this wood back here and the cheap lumber camps going to be helpful but whoop might spot him with the barracks he's gonna look and whoop see him running away not quite not that it matters now Whoop is committed to the Dark Age, and he might make more militia. I don't know. Viper's going forward. Viper's probably going to trush the wood lines and economy that Whoop has back at home. Whoop's not making any more militia. He is attacking the TC from Viper, but honestly, I think Viper's in a better position because he can still make villagers. He just needs to have a lot of wood to repair. I don't know if he's going to be able to make villagers, but archers is the better move because he can go to gold. There you go. And it doesn't cost food. Currently, he does have food to create villagers. He's just gonna, he's gonna need to repair this though, Viper. He needs to repair this for sure. We have an attack here, and oh, look at this! Whoop is now fighting with villagers and with militia, as he caught Viper running forward. Viper is probably gonna crush this area. Whoop has, well, he's still in the Dark Age. He can't counter tower. Viper, he's now gonna fight with his scout. He picked off one militia. This is good for Viper, but he's gonna lose a villager. And there are more militia now coming out from Whoop. This is interesting. Drush continued from Whoop with the Persian douche. Now, like I said, you see these houses. This is the perfect response from Viper. Build the houses because this is saving him precious resources. He doesn't have to um, repair his town center. And Whoop's going to realize this and he's going to have the task. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of tasking and it's really annoying for Whoop. If Viper masses enough archers, this should be over, though. Surely, like, if he gets over here, it should be over. I think that Whoop is... His play is to take this town center out. He has to do it, and you know what? He might just do it. Because that town center is going below 1,000 HP. Viper could always relocate his, keep that in mind. Whoop needs to have a force. Behind. And, oh, he does have a force! He has a lot of militia! I did not think he had that many. There's villagers here as well. Viper only has three archers. Whoop his house at the moment, which is not great, but he's not making any more militia. That TC is going to go down. Viper's not going to have any defense. Villagers coming in from Whoop. This is the most aggressive Persian douche I've ever seen. Highest level Persian douche I've ever seen. And now Whoop can fight underneath the town center because that's going to go down. He's running back to his town center. This is amazing. He's even using the militia to finish off that town center <laughs> and the villager. This is well done. Well done, but I think Viper is understanding it's going to go down, letting it go down. And he now is without a town center. Okay, Viper without a town center. Making archers out of one range. He's versus militia. And now Whoop can build up his economy a bit. He doesn't need to have his villagers in the towns in the TC. Now, something Whoop could do is he could always delete the TC and build another one again. Because he still has 100 stone and he has the resource to do it again. But he needs to pick a good spot. Like, this would be a great spot. But that would be ballsy. I've seen it before, but only when like a top player has been playing a poor player. But that would be great because he'd kill so many bills. But this is what we need to focus on now. The archer's going out across, and there's five archers with fletching. Oh, whoop! He's gonna wall! And you know what? He's walled off... Uh, that's closed. He's walled off everywhere but here. And he's sending two villagers. Viper's coming. This is gonna be close. Now, Viper does have a scout. If he uses the scout, he can stop it. Oh my gosh, Whoop's actually gonna stop the archers from coming in and protect what what economy he has back at home. This is crazy. Viper 
He does have stone for a tower, but Whoop's on his way to the feudal age. What a game. <laughs> what a game. Whoop is collecting Viper's berries. Oh, man. And oh, no. The scout has come in. And the wolf. And this is huge. Look at this. Archer's coming in. And that's the, that's game change. Well, I mean, it looks like Whoop's going to run away. Is that open? Yeah, it is open. Okay. So Whoop's going to run away now. But that is still a huge deal. Because he has to idle all these villagers, he has to wall up again, and that's a lot of damage done by Viper just because Wolf was unable to get the walls up early enough. And Viper paid attention with his scout. Well done. But if you look at the vill count, Wolf has a lot more. The Persian douche doing the damage. But Viper has another town center up, and it's over stone and wood, and he needs to protect his gold. He does have archers. At this point, Wolf has no military, except the TC, which is going to destroy that house. But Archer's coming in from Viper, and he's going to kill a villager for sure. And maybe two. Whoop's not paying attention. He must be paying attention up here as his villagers run away. And the good thing for Viper is he knows where Whoop is running to, so he can completely surround him. But man, still, what a game. And Viper's going to go for a watchtower there. He's going to go for two watchtowers. First, he might build this one and then go for that one. But what's the response from Whoop? He doesn't actually have... The problem for him now is he doesn't have access to gold. He doesn't have a lot of food now that the berries are gone. So he needs to use whatever food and wood he has for skirmishers and use it wisely. Can he see that tower going up from Viper? He cannot perfectly place from Viper. Two archery ranges from Whoop. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I would have gone with one range, made more skirmishers, and gone with fletching. But certainly he needs numbers because Viper is just coming in fast and this is perfectly played from viper look at this he knew that whoop would attack this so he's already building the one behind and whoop's gonna have to go back he could even lose some villagers here viper just predicting this play from whoop and whoop probably not predicting that from viper losing one villager gonna lose another one here maybe yes he's losing two maybe more because this tower is gonna go up viper's doing a great job how to deal with a persian douche by viper on display I'm still surprised Whoop continued with it, to be honest. There's a little bit of space left for Whoop, but Viper can surround him shortly. Skirms are coming out, but again, Whoop does not have the food. He has villagers up here. He needs to seed some farms, man. He needs to seed some farms. And there we go. He's, he's doing that, but Viper is now at 29 bills, 30 for Whoop. Whoop doesn't have the most efficient economy. Viper has fletching, Viper has archers, and he has a defense upgrade. I think this is advantage Viper at this point. He's even focusing down these skirmishers. He knows. He knows he has an advantage. He might be able to see Whoop. Well, of course. That's Whoop. He might be able to see Whoop is struggling. He can see there's villagers in that town center. The only area he hasn't scouted is behind Whoop's base. But he probably has the game knowledge now to know what I know. And that's that Whoop is struggling for food. He can build up his economy. He can eventually get to the castle age and just continue to push, but he's just surrounding the town center. He can see everything just surrounding this town center. It doesn't even matter. He doesn't need to kill. He doesn't need to get down here. There's not much going on. In fact, he actually has his other archers almost about to get through. Viper doing a great job here. What can Whoop do at this point? I don't know. I, I don't think he can do much at all because he's running away. <laughs> Viper can't see this, but I think Whoop's about to call the GG or something. He's going out here, a uh, hashtag tree fitty, <laughs> because Whoop's going out here to collect this tree. He can't collect any more wood in a second, and uh, yes. Whoop said sneak. Viper said yes. Whoop's probably trying to figure out how he got beat, but... <clears throat> Just waiting for Whoop to call the GG now. There's the GG, and wow, what a game, guys. What a game! That was... That was awesome. Honestly, it was a quick game, but there were so many things to touch on there, so I'm going to do that. So, I wasn't sure about the villager from Whoop, and I wish I could ask him. Maybe I'll try and ask him, but I don't know if he'll respond or be able to, because I don't know how well how good his English is. But, see, the villager was sent forward, okay? And he built the barracks. Now, 
I wonder if he knew, like, hey, if Viper sees this, he'll know I'm Persians, and that might Persian douche. Because when Viper saw it, Viper immediately built the houses. Now, that hurt Viper's economy. I think that Whoop would have been in, you know, in a good spot to go in a feudal attack because, you know, Viper deleted his really? barracks and all that. But, you know, then Whoop's play was pretty good. He went with a militia and a drush, and then Viper was confused because he saw the drush, and he had a scout forward. And he didn't even see the villas running forward. And then with the um, with the douche, Viper responded perfectly. He found gold and he won archers. The towers were well placed. There's just so many little things that, I mean, if you go back and just listen to what I touched on, I, it was just so informative. It was it was really cool. It was really cool. But you you just don't see that. You just don't see that nowadays. It's just random sieves. So the likelihood of Persians getting drawn versus another sieve, and then someone actually tempting the Persian douche at this level is very, very small, so that was cool. And, I mean, there's the kill death, not much in that, not really that important. Resources collected, not really that important. None of this is important. It's all that whoops play didn't work, it didn't kill Viper, and he was able to deal with it. That was, what a game, how to deal with the Persian douche by the Viper. That was great.